Hey, hey, welcome back, gang. It is I, the Dr. Bosky. And today, after a very long day, we are going to do something fun. And I want to flip on over. <coughs> so, thought I would show you a little sneak peek. Uh, we're getting close to the uh, spider train barrier enemy. So, here's what it looks like in game. <coughs> we got our little warning bits that show up. And then it's a snake type enemy. And of course, uh, snake type enemies die. So, it's temporary death um, bits there. But um, it's always good to look at all the pieces there. We haven't done the death animation yet. Um, and so what we are taking a look at right now is we're looking at the previous iteration, um, which we did a little bit of feedback on uh, the in the interior segments and what that looked like. And uh, it's also good to uh, when you have a, a like an enemy testing room to take a look at them on different background environments just this is a lighter one in particular uh to see how things read right and i really like where we're at so obviously no animation yet um on the uh the particles themselves so here what we're gonna do is uh so we've recently and this is a super huge hallmark for the uplifting goat uh development studio um so we uh, we're we're a tiny tiny team we're four people in total um i get to work for free i don't pay myself um, but, um, we are basically using two things. So one is GitHub. So all our projects now are in GitHub. Yay. Because we need to, it can't, it can't just be me that is tech arting and putting everything into the engine. So, um, uh, our lead artist, Dimitri, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's why we're looking at this today. They are getting into the process of, um, using source control. So once you're working, um, a shout out to Hauser because I know you want to do a collaborative project with uh, folks in the community. So once you're in a place where you've got more people that want to contribute and work on things, it unlocks lots of opportunity, but then you get into the complexity of what it means to have multiple people working on a project and having source control and you know, what happens if two people have a file checked at the same time and then which file is the file that you want to go with. So we cracked a lot of those uh, nuts, which is great. So one part is GitHub. The other part is Anchor Point. So <clears throat> and uh, so far, uh, Anchor Point has been pretty fun to uh, to play with. So uh, Anchor Point is designed. The reason why we wound up using this is designed for Unreal Engine. Uh, so, but it's basically it connects to GitHub and then do a couple of other fancy smancy things. And uh, it's a very uh, lightweight uh, source control solution uh, for like Perforce or things like that. So lots of things you can do, but this is what we've adopted here. And so I can see here that uh, Jaders, um, essentially your timeline. So they updated the spider train body and so we have basically here, um, we had a last round of feedback. So we used Trello for doing our, um, our review of art assets. So, right. So this is cool because it gives us a timeline of going through the iterations and the color testing. And this is a relatively short project so far for us. I mean, we got started, we created the original, um, the original card on the 17th of October. Here we are, uh, November 4th. And you can see like this actually went pretty fast. So anyways, I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole on this. I just enjoy as the nerd that I am, both that we're making and designing content in the new game. And we're always tweaking and iterating our, our production process. And I realize that a lot of people are curious and they don't always get to see this. So you can always reach out to me more than happy to talk and share. So anyways, um, this was the last round of feedback. I did a little tiny update here where I wanted to have a little more glowing on the inner side. Dimitri turned it around and it was like, cool, I think here we are. There's this version, um, which I'm really enjoying. Uh, and then he had the update to the spider train body, which was the last piece. And then, you know, we want to agree on final designs. Before you go into animation, it sucks to be like, okay, we've gone into animation. And then I'm like, oh, let's tweak something, right? Like, um, let's change the color or something. Because now, guess what? You have to make that change across all the frames of your animation. And it's just, you know... I'm a bad director if um, I do that too often um, because it eats up a lot of time, which meant that I didn't think through and improve my designs. And sometimes you put things in motion and it can't be helped, but be very sparing with how far you need to push changes. So anyway, coming back to Anchor Point, Dimitri, you check this in so I can see that here's the asset. It's connected to the, the directory in our Shmup Creator project. Uh, we're going to pull these changes. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Mm, 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 mm. And then the best part about this, so in the old days, I'd put the source files in the source location, do the iterations, put in the engine, check it, blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah. Um, and that was uh, always a pain in the ass. So now it should just be 
Katunch. It's updating the asset. Dun, 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 dun. And now let's take a look at the new version. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, the blues definitely work better. I like that. Um, I like that the, the reds are being carried. Um, one thing here, looking at this, Dimitri. Uh, here in the body, um, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a quick look. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's run it back. And this is, this is at the end of the day, this is all just art goodies, right? So this is part of our process. So open this bad boy up and something doesn't quite align between the two versions. So I need to come back and take a look at this. So we got this version here. Can make the canvas a little bit bigger. Uh, totally fine. Katunchi, there we go. And I just want to see what the in-game version looks like. Let me do this. Take a quick screenshot. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's trippy. Look at all this like, weird. Whoa, that's really interesting. I got some weird uh, graphics corruption there. Let me take a look at the thing. Bloop. I don't know what that was. That was pretty fun, though. All right. Um, huh. I must have caught it uh, when I moved it around. But anyways, that's not the point. Okay. So. So I see here, I think part of this is, now that I'm looking at this, you know, and sometimes it's all just a puzzle, right? You're trying to figure out like the, you know, like the, the last round of changes that we did and, you know, uh, the details uh, of what those changes were. And then ultimately, um, you know, what the difference is. And then you want to cap capture those differences uh, before it's too late to pull the trigger on finalizing your assets, right? So, ah, I see what this is. All right. So, I think, Dimitri, okay, let's take a look at the version that we did here. So, there's that. Got that there. Okay. So, yeah, I think, I think we have too much blue in the body. And I think that um, I want to see a little bit more red. So, it would be nice if we could try that version out. Um, because I think when I'm looking at this here, um, Let's try to scale this down a little bit, just to get slightly. Sometimes when you blow things up, it's uh, it's easy to lose sort of sight, uh, you know, because you're looking at them zoomed in. It's down here, right? Here we go. So. Let's make it smaller. Something like this, I think. It might be a tiny bit smaller. That's fine, though. All right. Yeah, so I think, Dimitri, it would be really cool if we could take a look at, um, at just, I'd like to see this in game here. Basically, uh, I want to see the, the red, if you will. Um, and especially, I really like the, this extra um, kind of red sparky line right here. I got all that pixels. Um, as it comes around here. So I think that also kind of breaks up the silhouette a little bit more. I think we're a little bit too much in the blue. I think we have a little bit of red with the ring here, but it, it doesn't read as hot, right? Uh, hot as in bright. And I think, I think what I'm looking for is just a little bit more brightness on the, the red ring here. Um, hello. Try this on the red ring here. And then I'm also looking for, um, just like we have here, I'm looking for that, um, that you know, this like segmentation. So, okay. Uh, other than that, uh, I, we're really close. It was just a small detail. So, um, and I think I, I, once we get that together, then we can do the animation for it. So, um, yeah, this is actually going really, really fast, um, which is great. And uh, sometimes, sometimes art, like you, you nail it kind of out of the gate. Um, nice job, Chris. Like this is one of her, um, like came from one of her concept designs. 
Um, and this is really going into, uh, this is going to be, these are going to be super fun. I mean, by the time you get to these lower in the city, people are going to be like, whoa. And then they're going to be like, oh, I got to dodge stuff. Douche, I got to crash things. And then um, if we're on the subject, then I'll, I'll definitely be done with this video. But it's, you know, if you're not going to have fun while you're doing it, then what are you doing? If you treat it all like a job, then it becomes a job, right? And uh, we're in the business of trying to create fun. And uh, fun is hard. And if you're not having fun while, you know, while, uh, while creating, then, you know, not everything can be fun all the time, but it's something to think about um, because that state of mind, uh, an emotional state, definitely changes uh, your perceptions of things. So uh, look at these guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Police cruisers everywhere. Oh, they got the new bits on them. Oh, look. And it won't overlap quite like this, but I really like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Get out of here! All right, Ooh, look at that one. Vujovel. Oh, look at him! Oh, he's not even shooting at me. I don't know why. Hmm, interesting. Uh, maybe because it's aiming. Oh, look at these these guys. Oh God. Ooh, yeah. So you can already see this is just prototype silliness, but sometimes you gotta sit down and just have the fun. Finding the fun. All right, that's it. I thought I would share a little bit more. And uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, everyone, that's been following along. If you've gotten this part, uh, to this part in the video, you know, um, there's the Nine Hells Boss Rush mode. Feel free to leave questions, comments, join us, play tests, um, all kinds of good stuff that's going on. And uh, I just wanted to shout out the community and the people that have taken the time to play the game and that are enjoying the game and giving feedback. It, it's, it, if you make the games just for yourself, then you can pretend like no one else matters, but ultimately, there is almost no greater joy when you're creating something than to see the thing you've created being experienced by other humans. That's why we put all the time in, right? And this is why I do. I try to try to make things that are going to move people, surprise and delight, right? Um, anyways, I digress. Thank you so much. Talk to you all soon. Later.